up everyone, it's Mark from Silence Tech and welcome back to a new video. I'm very sorry there wasn't a video last week, unfortunately uh, it's just been an absolute nightmare here. My little baby girl is currently teething and my five year old never wants to go to sleep. So I will be moving into an office very soon so uploads will be coming a lot more quicker and more often and more consistent, I hope. Anyway, I'm here now, so let's get this video started. Today we'll be checking out a budget gaming setup revolving around MSI products. And I want to start bringing some more budget friendly products to the channel. And this is an awesome way to start with a full gaming setup. Although the total cost of all of these products comes to 900 US dollars or 827 UK pounds. So I guess that isn't actually that budget at all. It was at this moment he knew. <sighs> Mind you, that price is for the whole gaming setup. The desk, the keyboard, the mouse, the headset, monitor, and a custom gaming PC. The idea of this video is to keep the setup as budget as possible while still delivering a decent gaming experience at 1080p. First of all, let's take a look at the PC. It's a bit of a mini beast. It has an Intel Core i3 8100, a four core locked down CPU clocked at 3.6 gigahertz. For memory, there's one eight gigabyte stick of HyperX Fury DDR4 clocked at 2400 megahertz, the maximum speeds the CPU can handle. For graphics, this PC has an MSI GTX 1050 Ti, their version 2 4GT OC, with 4GB of VRAM and a 1455MHz boost clock, it'll be more than enough for mid-level 1080p gaming. I won't go over all the specs of this PC because my lovely 11 month old daughter is about to start crying any moment, but you can find them in the description. The total cost of this PC is around 500 US dollars or UK pounds. If you don't feel like you're able to build a PC like this yourself, CCL Computers sell this exact PC and many other amazing ones on their website. A link to there will be down below. Next, let's talk about my monitor of choice for my budget gaming setup. I was sent out one by MSI for this video, and this is the Optics MAG241 CR, priced at around 179 UK pounds or 200 US dollars, and it delivers a great gaming experience for the money. Using a VA panel, not a VN panel, like I said in my last video, the MAG241 CR boasts an extremely high contrast ratio, way higher than most IPS or TN panels. While it does lack the color accuracy of IPS, it's not that far behind, covering 115% sRGB color and 90% DCI P3. The curved panel is 24 inches in size with a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Still the preferred screen size and resolution for esports professional gamers. Due to the fact that they're able to see the whole screen in their peripheral vision and the 1920 by 1080 resolution maximizes in-game FPS which reduces input lag, giving you a slight edge over any opponent playing at a locked 60 FPS for example. This monitor also has an extremely high refresh rate of 144Hz which makes games appear super smooth when panning around. Gaming on a 60Hz monitor with an unlocked FPS means you may suffer from some screen tearing due to the frames being delivered from your GPU not matching up with the amount of refreshes in a cycle from your monitor. While using this monitor, if you're able to tweak your graphical settings to around 144 FPS or higher, you'll be able to get less screen tearing, if any at all, and a huge reduction in input lag. It's a win-win and the best way to play competitive shooters, although it is a little bit of a stretch, even at 1080p, for a 1050 Ti. Lastly, as far as hardware is concerned, let's take a look at some really cheap gaming gear from MSI. Right now you're able to pick up the GK40 gaming keyboard and clutch M40 gaming mouse for £55 and I chucked in their GH60 gaming headset as well for good measure. 
these were sent over by MSI, of course your choice of gaming gear will differ, and as many other brands you can choose from with the Black Friday deals coming up, and there's going to be plenty of great deals going around. The total cost of this setup is now 800 US dollars or 800 UK pounds. But the desk I'm going to recommend, believe it or not, is not going to be my massive dining table because that's just too big for this gaming setup that I have featured in this video. But it's going to be this one and you can find this pretty much in every UK furniture shop. It's on eBay as well. You may be able to get it in the US, I'm not too sure. Lastly, accessories, I would recommend picking up a nice cheap RGB strip from Amazon and maybe even having it on the back of your desk and also underneath for some nice contrasting colours and some cable management clips will also go a long way. Neat cables is a big factor to having a nice gaming setup but that's a whole new topic in itself. You can add plants, posters, lamps, a chest of drawers, you name it, to finish off your setup and give it a whole new personality. Anyway peeps, I really hope you've enjoyed my budget gaming setup. Of course, you probably wouldn't buy every product in this video at once. The key is to work hard and save even harder. If you have a setup close to this in this video, then you're extremely lucky. Post your gaming setup specs down below. I would love to read them. Cheers guys, thank you very much for sticking to the end. My name's Mark from Silence Tech. I will see you very soon, hopefully. Goodbye.